LeBron James just set a new record without even playing in a single game. Plus, Frank Vogel has some thoughts as to who should win Defensive Player of the Year and MVP. Details are coming up in just a second. How's it going, everybody? It's Devin Howard. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely go do that now. I'm there as at Devin Howard. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fumble and tap the bell for notifications so you always know when we upload a new video. And please hit that thumbs up. Games haven't even begun in Orlando yet, but LeBron James is already breaking records. On Saturday, one of his rare cards sold for $1.8 million at an auction. $1.8 million. I respect that people like to collect things, but damn, who is able to blow that much money on a single card? Whoever it was deserves to be crowned the king or queen of the bronze sexuals because that is pretty impressive. That's like serious dedication. The reason this card sold for such a high price tag is because there were only 23 of them that were made. The card was from LeBron's rookie season with the Cavs. He signed it too. It also features a patch from one of his jerseys. The valuable collector's item was also basically brand new, which upped the value quite a bit. This is the highest dollar amount a modern day card has ever sold for. Previously, Angel star Mike Trout's card sold for 923,000, which is a far cry from 1.8 million. It probably feels pretty flattering to LeBron to know that his rookie card sold for such a high price tag, he has more reasons to feel ultra confident lately too. Frank Vogel said that LeBron James should be the one to walk away with MVP. Here's why he thinks that way. LeBron's performance against the Clippers and the Bucks was enough to seal the deal. He said, quote, in that weekend, LeBron took the toughest assignment in both games. He guarded Kawhi in the Clippers game and did a great job with him. He guarded Kawhi in the Clippers game and did a great job with him there. And then he guarded Giannis in the Bucks game when AD was in foul trouble and did a great job in those two situations. I think that weekend was probably a great measuring stick. He also gave AD his stamp of approval for defensive player of the year. I obviously am totally in support of winning MVP. He's accomplished so much, but I'd be like, if I said I didn't think Giannis was neck and neck with him in this competition. What do you guys think? Does LeBron deserve MVP? How about AD for Defensive Player of the Year? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble and I'll see you later. Keep